you guys. It's me, the American Summer, and God bless America. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day wherever you are in this lovely world. Now, our 15 minutes of gameplay time will begin in 3, 2, 1. Good morning, Chloe. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. Such a Chloe thing. It feels thing like a to different do. world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch. Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? Yes. I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. See? I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. Uh, okay. Seriously, though, we have to get up, please. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Let's I don't open. think I'll be washing today. I don't think I'll be washing today. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back somehow. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Oh, that's so cute. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Oh, don't be dummy. Cover your room. Um, okay. I kind of wish I didn't see that. I love this song. Do you though? Oh, at least we haven't been identified yet. I have to go. Especially since Kate's parents aren't going to bury her here. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. 
can't compete with Rachel. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Where else? Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly, we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. As Blackwell proves, boys are trouble. And way fucking gross, as you'll discover soon enough. Oh, okay, woman of the world. Please tell me what it's like to get that first magic kiss. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to get you all worked up. I just don't think anybody is good enough for you. Besides me. Are you saying if you want, you go ahead and check out the closet for some fresh clothes. Yes, mom. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Ooh. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size, but not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. Okay. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Fine. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. <laughs> now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance, unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. You dare me. I'm not back around. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Let's get dressed. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? <laughs> Maybe not. Go on down <laughs> and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my God, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Say cheese, Max. It feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine and hiding. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. <laughs> you know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Yes. It's time. Dye your hair blue. Because I actually want to dye my hair blue. had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Aww. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Anything else in here? No. It's 
Speaking of choice, let's... I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Ew. Let's go downstairs. Hello, Mother Joyce. This might be the one time these people are right. you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night around the time of the break-ins what give me a call <sighs> soon are you in trouble again Chloe don't you sleep I got you covered message deleted goodbye message I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit yes the two people I will constantly say throughout this LP, as you will see, is Warren and Chloe. And nothing over here. Who drinks beer this early around here? Kate's life was sure worth a nice, exploitive headline. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Wowza, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Hello, Good morning, Joyce. Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Just pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Yes, ma'am. Eggs and milk? No problem. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. I got the eggs. Oh, the milk's over here. Now for the mother's milk. Oh. Mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She yeah. hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that hmm. Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. Oh, you think? 
Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me, what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. Okay, guys, so that's the end of this part. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all that other stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.